Good morning. We've got a bit of a strange, hopefully super simple recovery job to go do today. It's not even recovery. We've got a guy who's got a boat trying to back it into a storage unit. It's all snowy and icy. As you can see, he's only got two wheel drive, so he can't get it in there. So I'm going to take the ZR2 down there and see if this is what the four wheel drive is enough to just get it backed up in there for him. It's about an hour drive away. As you can see, the weather, not the best, and uh, the road conditions going down there are even worse. So it, It'll be a good test uh, driving the Silverado in uh, some adverse road conditions. Hook onto a trailer, get it backed up an icy thing, it sounds like. And uh, just some more miles on this thing to see how it does in some beautiful Oregon winter weather. Let's pull over, stop to show you. Uh, you got GPS here. It's like freaking huge screen. You can have it here, you don't have to. I just have it set up where it's here too. And I don't know if you're able to see it as bright as it is outside, but there's a heads up display right here in the windshield oh it's kind of there flickery in this screen but uh it's not flickering real life super smooth but that's showing me my gps too it's got the uh, my speed the speed limit and then over here like i said it's gonna be real hard to see in this camera but is your gps direction so you don't even have to like look down to get your directions see where you go they're right here in your screen i thought that would be super distracting but once you adjust your brightness and all that and like how you want it it's it's actually pretty nice the road's a little icy, but not too terribly bad. There's a whole bunch of birds in the middle of the road here for some reason. What is going on? Go out of the way. Move. So, yeah, not too bad on this lane. This is the lane that heads into town. Uh, that's the lane that heads out of town. So obviously in the morning, a lot more people have gone into town than come out. Uh, if it continues snowing throughout the day, these will be switched in the afternoon where that one's much more cleared out and this one is snowed over. Uh, about on a good day, normal, takes me about 20 minutes to get to the edge of town. And uh, we usually have this here nice, iced over, snowy road all winter long. So we definitely get a lot of ice and snow, icy road driving in the winter time. Uh oh. Swift truck stuck. Or was he broke down right there? He's stuck, spun out. What is going on? Oh, that van spun out too. If you're wondering how slick it is, that should tell you. We got another job to go do. That one's not our issue. Okay, nobody slide. Just stay where you're supposed to be. Okay, half hour later, finally made it to the highway. So uh, we get on here. We got another half hour or so south to go from here. South actually pretty decent shape. It's not bare pavement though, that is ice in those tracks there. If that lane's a little slushy or wetter, this lane's ice. See the road spray from the tires on those cars, but no road spray from these ones. Slush, ice. Definitely don't want to wreck with that load. that one which which would you rather wreck with it like the would you rather crash pull in mobile toilet or a septic tank behind you or crash pulling a fuel tanker you have to pick one It's really sure-footed crossing over the, the slush in between. That's normally where you get squirrely. This thing, like, there, there's no body roll to it. It's very, very, like, planted feeling, like, in how it drives. It's like, it also could be just that it's a brand new vehicle, and I've never had a new vehicle in my life. Uh, so everything's tight and solid. Uh, my Western Star, 2016, newest vehicle I've ever owned. Uh, so that, that could be it, too. Okay, now we are looking for a boat. 
Here it is. Yes, and that's where it's got to go. Okay, let's go check this out. Nobody can refer anybody to me to, to help me. So I appreciate good work. No problem. I'll do that. Yeah. All right, well, we are back home. Successful job, and not the most difficult or extreme one ever, but uh, very happy with the truck. It felt super sure-footed and solid going down the highway, even all that slippery stuff. You see us real slippery. People spun out, slid off everywhere. So very happy so far. We're gonna go on a little family trip with it next and see how it does with that and how comfy it is for all of us. And uh, we'll see you next time. <laughs>